Forty-two years after being placed on the federal endangered species list, the recovery of grizzly bears in the entire greater Yellowstone ecosystem, including Wyoming, has exceeded all goals. In about two weeks, grizzly bears will officially come off the endangered species list, and management will return to Wyoming, Idaho, and Montana. Wyoming Game and Fish Wildlife Division Chief Brian Nesvik says in the time since the bear was officially listed to today, the Wyoming Game and Fish Department and sportsmen have played a major role in recovering the species. Our department has had, and our citizens have had a role that dates clear back into the 80s with monitoring grizzly bears, dealing with grizzly bear conflict, conducting analysis and serving on the interagency grizzly bear study team. Most of the the good research that we have today on grizzly bears went through or was initiated by folks associated with that study team and we, the, the, the Game and Fish Department, has been involved in that. Grizzly bear numbers have actually been at recovered levels since 2003 and it's the second time the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service has delisted this species. The delisting decision is a tribute to Wyoming's management of the species. Financially, Wyoming spent $45 million for recovery some game and fish biologists spent the bulk of their careers trapping, collaring, and relocating grizzlies, reducing bear conflicts with humans, and building and maintaining relations with the public. Changes in technologies also happened. Radio collars became real-time GPS collars for tracking bears. Bear spray was introduced as an effective deterrent, and bear-proof storage products became household items for some people. And the public played a big role, too. A lot of the bills were paid by sportsmen, by those folks who, who bought hunting and fishing licenses, but also equally as important, Wyoming people were patient and supportive. There's a lot of folks who make their living off of those landscapes where grizzly bears exist who have had to alter their practices, who have had to change their um, livestock grazing, for example. The outfitting industries had to change the way that it does business because it, uh, it it uh, makes its living off places where grizzly bears exist. Sportsmen have had to change the way that they, that they recreate in the backcountry and in places where grizzly bears live. And, and all of that support and all of that uh, willingness to contribute to recovery, both financially and through behavior, they, they deserve a huge amount of the credit for this success story. The population estimate in the area where grizzlies are monitored is estimated conservatively at 690 bears, with Wyoming having the largest share of the population. Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho all have management plans and mechanisms in place to ensure grizzly bear populations remain above recovery criteria and will coordinate management efforts. Any consideration of hunting grizzly bears in Wyoming will come after a public discussion allowing for ample time to take input. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.